Hi guys, welcome to part one of this three installment series of videos I've planned about my favorite switches. I asked recently on Twitter if people were interested in such a thing, and the answer was a resounding yes, so here it is. Today we're going to look at clicky switches, the other two lists are about linear and tactile switches, and of the three lists this one was by far the easiest to put together for me, but it's also the hardest to enter into I think, because in my opinion the very best switches are all clicky. So the competition in this list is absolute murder, and as you can see I have plenty of material to choose from. Now I put this list together based on several criteria, foremost is key feel, but reliability, sound and many other factors also play at least some role in this. That said, all of this is 100% subjective, so don't be too upset if your favourite switches aren't in here because this is just an opinion after all. If your number one priority is to stick keycaps in the shape of Overwatch characters on them, I'm sure your list will look very different from mine for example, and similarly if you absolutely have to have 500 gram springs in them, or if you're only interested in keyboards you can buy straight off the shelf. Also, this list is of course subject to change, I mean I'm no different from anybody else, so my tastes and insights will change with time, and there's new switches coming out frequently nowadays, so it's not really set in stone either. Anyway, let's kick off the list with number 5, which are SMK second generation clicky switches, which come in two versions, an MX mount version, and the more common and widely known Alps mount version, which is often called the Monterey switch. There is also an SMK mount version, but it's extremely rare. These both feel basically the same, and they're kind of inspired by Alps switches, but they have lots of character of their own, and I actually prefer them to white Alps. They're a little bit lighter than Alps, and they feel extremely delicate, which makes for a very nice relaxed typing feel. The sound is a little bit softer too, although they're still quite noisy, and they're very smooth, probably because they're factory lubed. The MX mount version even allows you to use modern keycaps with them, which is pretty rare for a top tier vintage switch. At number 4 we have Alps SKCP, also known as Alps plate spring switches. These are not that easy to get hold of in the western world as they are more commonly found on Asian market keyboards. These have a rather different feel from most of the other switches on this list, being a plate spring switch, but they're extremely smooth and have a very crisp clean tactile bump. They have a rather strong return bump which might be a bit jarring to some people, and I've heard reports that they start to feel kind of crap after you use them a lot, but so far I've found them to be excellent and very satisfying to use. The sound is also quite unique, very sing-songy, quite funny actually. Next up, at number 3, we have Alps SKCM Blue, as well as SKCM Amber. I guess these being in the list isn't really a surprise to most people watching this. <laughs> Blue Alps are my favourite switch, so some might have expected them at number 1, but they have some rather glaring weaknesses that hold them down at 3. First is that they're super sensitive to dirt and dust as well as use, and this is really a major problem for a switch that hasn't been in production since 1990. And second, that they tend to be very expensive, even though they're not even rare as they were Alps' main clicky switch for several years, and they shifted a lot of boards during that time. They have a beautifully balanced, nice all-round feel that's a bit hard to describe. The best I can say is that when I use these, everything about them feels just right. And of course, they're basically the king of one of the main aspects of clicky switches, the typing noise. It's just super gorgeous, nothing beats this in my opinion. Amber Alps are from the same generation and are just as smooth and lovely to listen to, but they are not balanced. Instead, they are much more tactile. In fact, they're one of the most tactile switches I know. So, if you like blue Alps but want more over the top tactility, Amber ones are the way to go. These tend to be rarer, but not quite as expensive as blue Alps. Above that are IBM's capacitive buckling springs. Now, these are just fantastic. The weighting is a little bit lighter, they are super duper smooth, and they have a small but nice and sharp tactile bump. 
personally. I think they feel roughly equally good as Blue Alps, but they don't sound as good. With an instantly recognizable metallic ping sound that's impressively loud and which is more amusing than anything else. On the flip side, they are much easier and cheaper to get hold of than Blue Alps, depending on how much you want to pay for a non-XT layout, and they aren't contact-based like Blue Alps, but capacitive instead, giving them an impressive 100 million cycle lifetime as well as inherent N-key rollover. Most of all, they keep feeling good, even when pretty horribly filthy, and this above all is what earns it the number two spot over Blue Alps for me. Finally, at number one, we have another IBM product, the earlier beam spring switches. These are often the pride and joy of collectors, not just because their keyboards tend to be fairly expensive, but also because they're just unbelievably good. The smoothness is completely off the scale, and they have a delicious sharp tactile bump as well as a nice light key feel. Simply put, Everything about these feels absolutely perfect. They actually put other switches to shame. Being a plate spring design, the sound is a little more polarizing, but often the keyboards these were in had solenoids in them, which utterly overpowers the sound so you can't hear them anyway. And on top of that, they have the same N-key rollover and capacitive properties buckling springs had too. I mean, <laughs> what more do you want, really? Anyway, that's it for my list of the top five best clicky switches ever made. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite clicky switches are. And join me in the next installment in three weeks.